Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is for Behavioral Science 3010 Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences at Utah Valley University. In this video, we're looking at the third practice test for Chapter 4, which is on variability. The first question is, which measure of variation is least sensitive to outliers? And the choices are the IQR, that's the interquartile range, the standard deviation, the range, or that they're all the same. The answer to this one is the IQR, the interquartile range. Um, the standard deviation is very susceptible to outliers, and the range is the most susceptible. Um, but let's take a look at how the IQR works. Here's a little chart that shows a uh, rather skewed distribution, and the IQR, the interquartile range, is, is that part that's in that box, the orange box in the middle. And what you see is that the nice thing about that is it's unaffected by the fact that we got this one tail trailing way off to the right, and that's a, that's a good thing. Um, it, it, you can have open-ended, undefined scores, you can have extraordinary outliers on the left or the right, and the IQR is generally not going to be affected by them. That's one of the strengths of the interquartile range. On the other hand, as we saw before, the standard deviation and the variance are, can be dramatically affected, and the range is the most affected by outliers. Number two, what's the interquartile range for this data set? Well, we got eight numbers there, and the choices are cannot be calculated, 5, 0 0.5, or 2.5. Well, the answer is 2.5, and let me show you how you get there. The first thing to do is to take the data set and to put it in order from smallest uh, to biggest, and I did that. And I've also split it up into quarters because we're dealing with quartiles. And so I put a red dot to split it up into quarters. We've got one, three, and that's. And then we have the uh, dot for the first quartile, four, four, dot for the second quartile, or the median, six, six, dot for the third quartile, and then the last six, six. And the IQR, the interquartile range, is simply the difference of the th value for the third quartile and the value for the first quartile. Okay, the value for the third quartile, that's the far right red dot. It's got sixes on each side, so the value is six. The uh, first quartile, Q1, now, it's got two different values there. It's got a 3 on one side, a 4 on the other. And so what you do is you average those. So 3 plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3.5. Then we go back to the formula for the IQR. We take the third quartile, Q3, that's 6, and we subtract the first quartile, Q1, that's 3.5. 6 minus 3.5 is 2.5, and so that's the IQR for this data set. Question number three, for a normal distribution, kurtosis is A, undefined, B, one, C, zero, or D, negative? Well, the answer is zero. Um, here we've got a little chart here that shows our three variations, that we have the mesokurtic, that's the normal distribution, and its value for kurtosis is zero because it, it's, it serves as the defining point, and so you see it says K for kurtosis is equal to zero. The leptokurtic right next to it, which is the tall, narrow, pointy one, it has a positive value for kurtosis, and the platokurtic on the far right, that's the a flat one, has a negative value for kurtosis, but it's defined in every case. Um, all right, number four. What is the range for this data set? And we've got 5, 3, 7 plus, 1, and 4. And the choices are 6 plus, 1, 6, or cannot be calculated. Well, the answer is that it cannot be calculated, and here's why. <coughs> Excuse me. If you take the values and put them into order, which is something you should always do, you see that the last one is 7 plus. That's not a number, that's a category. And you can't use a category and subtract a number, so it just can't be calculated. Um, Okay, this gets us to question five, the last one. When scores in a data set are very close to one another, then the variance, dot, 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 A, cannot be calculated, will be biased for samples, must be based on uh, samples of N greater than 50, or will be close to zero. The answer to this one is that it will be close to zero. If they're very close to one another, there's not much that separates them, and the average distance from the mean, which is basically what the variance is, uh, or the average square distance from the mean, is going to be close to zero. If they were far apart, it'd be a big number. Um, a, yeah, you can calculate it, and it's not biased for samples uh, based on the data size or how close they are. Um, and on for 50, you know, that's a good idea. Big samples are better, but it certainly doesn't uh, change the value of the uh, variance. And that's it for uh, the third practice test for Chapter 4. Thanks.